On January 20th, President Barack Obama gives his annual State of the Union address. We decided to let him know what's going on with our generation. This, this, this is the state of our union. Our childhood was marked by 9-11, Hurricane Katrina, and the Columbine shootings. And yet, we are an optimistic generation. 80% of us believe that every woman has something about her that is beautiful. We're twice as likely as our parents' generation to identify as LGBT. 40% of us identify as non-white. We're the most racially diverse generation in American history. Being non-white is important to me. I identify with it, I categorize myself under it, and I vote because of that. Estamos representados por el Congreso más diversa de en la historia. 53% are looking for a candidate who's fiscally conservative and socially liberal. We support same-sex marriage and a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants at much higher rates than any generation before us. We're educated. We earn 59% of the advanced degrees in the country. Over half of us live paycheck to paycheck. And 20% of us are below the poverty line. We have more student debt than any generation before us. If I knew going into school that I would come out buried under hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt, I don't really know if I would have chosen that. It affects the job choices. It affects where you look. It affects the way that you look back on your education. For every year we delay motherhood, our career earnings increase by 9%. 63% of us believe that having children will make it harder to advance in our careers. I have countless friends who've had to come to me to be like, I'm pregnant, I can't tell my boss, and I'm like, that should not be the case right now. But it is. People get passed over for promotions all the time just because they're female. One in six of us will experience sexual assault. Almost two-thirds of us have used contraception. And a quarter of us have used the morning after pill. I come from a family of very young mothers. My mom had her first daughter at 16. I feel very lucky that I can choose when I want to have kids and do it later in life if I choose and do it earlier if you want to. My hopes for the future. I, I hope more women take more risks. The wage gap for women is finally eliminated. We get to a point where we understand that education is more important than digging into students' pockets. That our generation is the great equalizer. It won't matter your skin color, if you're a male or female, we're all gonna be on a same equal platform. Our generation feels really empowered and I hope that that increases. Women are demanding the respect that we definitely deserve and I think it's very important that we continue on the path that we're on. I'm glad I'm part of this generation because I think we're on the brink of something really important. Millennials will change the world. This is the state. This is the state. The state of our state of our our union. This is the state of our union, and we're going to change the world. Yeah.